Hi there, I'm Michelle Grace Thunder. I'm a Melbourne-based music photographer shooting live music as well as press shots, artists, portraits and album covers. Why am I here? Well... <laughs> I'm going to be unboxing the new Nikon Z8, which I'm really excited about. I'm just about to go on tour with Rule to the um, United States. I'm really excited about um, touring with him again. We just came off the Australian tour uh, and now we're going into America. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what this baby looks and feels like. Uh, prior to the Z8, I've been shooting with the Nikon Z6 and Z6 II, um, and I can use them interchangeably for shows. Um, I, you know, lean towards the Z6 II for my studio work, but if I'm shooting live music, um, I often shoot with two cameras, so I am switching between the two. But yeah, I've been shooting uh, Nikon from the very start, so I started with the D5000, um, which is a beautiful little camera. Um, and then slowly we're upgrading to different levels and I think the, the one before the mirrorless was the um, Z, uh, sorry, the D3 I had for a little while. So um, I had the D750 for a while, I had the D800 for a while, um, D3 I landed on and then I went mirrorless. Uh, I think I tell everybody that I mentor that mirrorless is the future, like I'm very passionate about <laughs> mirrorless cameras I think. Um, specifically for live music and concert photography, um, they are exceptional and there is a real point of difference, I think, between DSLR and, uh, and mirrorless, and I've really noticed the difference with my work and the, the level um, and the output, I guess, of my work since going mirrorless. So, yeah, I'm excited to see this one. Okay, let's go. All right, let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, okay, here's the, it's, oh my gosh, it's in, it's, let's take it out of its little, <laughs> well, I, I mean, I saw that it's literally released today, so I'm seeing um, various unboxings from people that I know have already purchased the camera, so it's pretty exciting to have one in my hot little hands. Okay, so the size immediately, it's a little bit bigger than um, the Z6 II, but not as big as, I guess, if I compare it to the D3, which is my largest um, DSLR. I really like this size actually. I'm a big fan of a smaller um, body in general just because I travel a lot. So I like lighter and compact, um, which is I know a little bit different than some people. They like the meatier cameras. But this is a really nice kind of in-between size, I think. So um, for those that feel like the Z6 II or the Z6 or the Z6 II is a bit small, this is definitely a meatier version and um, it's got a great grip. It looks really beautiful, so yeah. The majority of what I shoot is um, concerts. So if I'm shooting a concert, then um, the different types of photography that go into that is backstage. So you're doing um, very photojournalistic style, uh, fly on the wall type photography, um, as well as portraits and candid photography as well. And then obviously the, the concert photography. And then I also do a lot of studio work. So press shots, album covers for artists that are mostly studio based, sometimes on location. Um, but I think uh, for things like image stabilization and autofocus, um, that's what I'm most excited about in terms of the live music and um, the work that I'm about to do on tour. Uh, one of my friends is an amb ambassador in America and he said that the autofocus on this is a complete game changer. So I'm definitely excited to be capturing those moments that are fast moving, um, say, can sometimes be really tricky to, to focus on, especially Rule. So if anyone's ever seen Rule perform, he runs around and dances and is really crazy. So this is going to make my job a little bit easier if, you know, the, the focus can stick on him and uh, be able to capture those um, moments a bit easier. So yeah. Oh, I love talking about this. So I, um, I actually have the 24 to 70 f4, which people are often really shocked about. Um, a because it's very light, and B because I've just been shocked by the capability of an f4 lens with the mirrorless camera. Um, so I've done my previous world tours with that lens. Um, it's the one that I use the most, and uh, I often say to people, if you're really concerned about you know, upping to a mirrorless kit and you're nervous about 
um, spending a lot of money, then just going with the 24 to 70 f4 is actually a really good start. And I still use that lens the most. Um, so my other favourite lens is the 14 to 30 f4. I love using that for live music as well. Um, this is the first tour I've actually taken that lens with me, and I've been absolutely blown away. It's specifically really good for bigger shows. Um, Rule actually had a catwalk, so where he was actually walking out to the crowd, and I found it really useful for those particular shots. So yeah, I've got a 50 mil, I've got a 35 mil, I've got an 85. Like I usually will chuck them in the bag as well. Maybe not all of them, but it's always handy to have a 50 mil, like you just, especially for portraits or maybe we're just out for the day and we're going to go sightseeing just to be able to stick a 50 mil on it and just know that I'm going to be able to get kind of everything I need. It's really handy. Um, yeah, that's about all I'll take. I don't like to travel with a big kit. So I always think, OK, what am I going to get the maximum use out of? And I'd like to travel as light as possible. For a show, I'll only need one. But if I was out all day, um, yeah, probably good to have one in the pocket somewhere just in case. Um, I mean, this for stills, the battery life is unbelievable. So, you know, it's not like I need to have five batteries around. Usually one or one and a half is going to get me through a day, no worries, So, which is great. So I would shoot 2000 in one show so and I won't go through a battery so that yeah that's really good to know um I've got a couple of extras anyway so it's always good to chuck them in I'm a is this the same battery as okay great yeah. one of the most annoying things is when companies use different batteries for different cameras so this is well done Nikon good stuff that's great that it's transferable so for sure I mean like it's always good to have that capability um now that I have my own studio uh, with my husband, we are thinking about doing a lot more video work. So um, I dare say it will come in um, very handy soon. So yeah, it's great that you've got that. Like 8K in a camera this size is just, it's really, really amazing. So yeah, ex exciting times. You're so welcome. Thanks you for having me. You have an amazing <laughs> trip and happy Z8 week. Happy yes. Z8 tour. So hopefully I can show you um, some examples of what I've shot on the road. That'd be really fun. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks. What an absolute delight to spend time with Michelle. Uh, absolutely amazing. The plan was we were just going to exchange the camera and for me to just talk a little bit about some of the differences between a Z6 and a Z8 and so on. And then about an hour before we were supposed to be doing that, it occurred to me, you know what? I reckon the world needs to know more about Michelle Grace Hunter. She is such an epic talent. She's an Aussie and... It's just so great to see her out there and being so successful, along with being a Nikon creator, which is just a great honor. It was amazing to meet her. It was amazing to spend time with her. It was amazing to share in her passion for what she does. Just great to spend time with a kindred spirit. And it's just, I suppose, there's just not as many of us here in Australia as maybe there are in the rest of the world. We're just such a small country when you think about population-wise. So I'm just so pleased to have met her. I cannot wait to see what she does with the Z8 on tour with a great collection of Nikon's wonderful 1.8 primes and as she has reminded all of us the extraordinarily useful powerful and relevant f4 zooms the 14 to 30 and the 24 to 70 I mean isn't it amazing to see this outstanding range of images that she has created from these lenses and I can't wait to see what she comes back with in two months time Michelle it's been an absolute pleasure to meet you and please hang around to check out some of her amazing images at the end of this video and also give Michelle some love jump onto her Instagram her Facebook her website do a like do a subscribe and please share your thoughts on this video in the comments below. As always, it's been so good to have you here. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to see you again. So please do subscribe. Amazing stuff. And I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. All right, take care.